Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year to you. Welcome to 2021. I'm so excited that we made it to 2021. Woo! 2020 was a... 2020 was something. And I'm so grateful that I made it to 2021. And I'm sure you are grateful too. And I really want to wish every single subscriber, every single person watching this video a great year ahead a year full of favor a year full of impact and increase and dynamic movement in jesus name all right guys let's get into today's video Woo! <laughs> okay so today we're going to be making a very simple vanilla cake recipe and i promise you you're going to like this recipe it is this cake when it came out it was so fluffy and it was so yummy and I just love making this particular recipe because I know that every time I make it, it just turns out really, really great. First of all, we're going to measure out all our ingredients and this is some margarine. And then we have some all-purpose flour. You can also use butter if you don't want to use margarine. And we have some granulated sugar. This is just normal granulated sugar. And then we're also going to add two eggs, then some whole milk, and finally some good quality vanilla extract. Then we're also adding some baking powder and salt. So first of all, we're going to whip our butter and sugar in an in a large bowl and we're going to cream and we're going to cream the butter and sugar for about 10 minutes until it is pale it is fluffy and it has doubled in volume and this step really builds up the foundation of a really great vanilla cake and we do this to incorporate air as well into this batter So after a couple minutes of whipping, you can see that it has doubled in size and you can, still, you can see that it's quite pale. So after about 10 minutes, I whipped this for about 10 minutes. This is the kind of consistency you want. If you're using butter, it's going to be lighter than this, but if you're using margarine, Going to be a bit yellow but the difference should be clear so what we're doing right now is we're adding our vanilla extract into our eggs which i separated which i cracked into a small white bowl also we're just we're just going to add the dry ingredients into another bowl as well that's the flour, the baking powder, and the salt. And we're going to just mix that together and set aside. At this point, we want to mix the butter and sugar, the creamed butter and sugar, with the egg and the vanilla extract. And we're going to add it one egg at a time and then mix after each, each addition. This really helps it to, this really helps to, to ensure that at every stage the, the, the ingredients are mixed properly and nothing, there are no lumps anywhere because that can affect the way the, the, your vanilla cake turns out. And this is the consistency you really want it to be. It's a bit curdled but don't worry, don't worry if it looks a bit grainy, once we add the dry ingredients is going to come together. So 
what we're doing now is we're sieving the dry ingredients over the butter sugar egg and vanilla mixture and we sieve dry ingredients because you can never really tell what is in the package of um package of what is the package of what is inside a package of flour or a bag of flour so it's always great to sieve it to make sure that there are no like um there are no foreign objects inside and as we as we mix on a very low speed with our hand mixer we're going to add the whole milk bit by bit until we add everything inside so on a very low speed we're just going to mix it around until we add all the milk into the mixture and then afterwards we're just going to mix this for 30 seconds not more not less why because we don't want to build that gluten in the flour we want this cake to be fluffy we just want to mix at this point we just want to mix everything together to make sure it is combined so once in 30 seconds or less once it's mixed and combined stop mixing with your mixer if you feel that you need to mix it more use a spatula or a whisk or a wooden spoon and then mix it further and this is what you want your butter to look like you don't want it to be too stiff you also don't want it to be too runny and then you you really want i one thing another thing i love about this recipe is that that vanilla flavor and that vanilla smell just wafts out to me i can really smell it especially using good quality vanilla extract and all we're doing now is taking taking a pan that we have prepared and what i did here was that i used butter to go around the pan and then i just i just um used flour as well to make sure that it does not stick And with this local pans, I don't really use parchment paper because I've noticed over time that irrespective of if I, if I use parchment paper or if I just use butter and flour, the cake never sticks. In order not to knock out all the air, we're just going to spread the butter around around the edges and around the edges of the round cake tin with an offset spatula and we do this to just make sure every just make sure the batter is leveled because when you when you're making layer cakes you want to make sure that the layers are are leveled because it's easier to assemble and it bakes evenly and after I, after I just spread it around with the offset spatula, I'm going to give it a few banks on the counter to make sure that it's it just a few because you don't want to knock out all the air. A few banks on the counter and that's it. And this is our finished good looking golden brown vanilla cake recipe made simple, made easy, does not take much time at all. And that's it guys it's not hard it's not it doesn't take long it doesn't take long and that's why i love this recipe a lot it doesn't take long and it's fluffy when i when i tasted it and when i cut into it i mean i could just it was just filled with love like i just feel it was just like it was just so it was so so nice and so soft and i'm sure you like this recipe as well so if you try this if you try out this recipe please reach out to me Please reach out to me and tag me on Instagram at CakeDaddyNG or just tag me on Facebook as well. I really, really want to see how, how, this, how my videos have helped you and have inspired you to bake. How my videos have really, how, my, how the tips have shared, I really helped your baking. Because I really want to see and I really want to know that. The, the tips I'm giving you guys are working because they worked for me and I know they work for you. So let me know. Let me know what you think about my video, this video. If you try this recipe, reach out to me. And then if you have any 
any if you have any anything any recipe you like me to try on this channel hit me up in the comment section below i want i would i would i would try my best to research and look up look up the recipe look up that particular recipe and give you tips and tricks to make sure that every time you do it it turns out to be a success and if you like this video please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any awesome content and make sure you don't forget to click on the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video welcome once again to 2021 it's going to be a great year and see you guys in the next one. Bye.